Hey everybody, how's it going? I got this Chicago Electric Flex Shaft Grinder Carver Tool. If you have a Dremel, or have you, or if you've seen a Dremel, this is basically a Dremel, except it hangs like on the wall or on a pegboard or whatever, and you basically do grinding with this guy right here. Uh, it's pretty convenient. Uh, we're not going to bother with an unboxing. I just wanted to show you the box here really quick. Heavy-duty ball bearing, uh, one-fourth horsepower insulated motor, flexible shaft with a 532-inch chuck capacity, 120 volts, 60 hertz, um, 15,000 RPMs. U.S. approved, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Uh, let's just go ahead and go to the desk uh, view. Oh, my God. Where's my, my chihuahua? Shorty, go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed, smelly boy. Get my dogs are all fucking rowdy. They want to come inside, but then they start acting a fool. Shorty, get your fucking ass to bed. I'm not even kidding. Go to bed. Yeah. All right. So anyways, back to the review. Or this isn't even like a review. This is an overview. Uh, so I did a little bit of research before I got this. Now, why did I buy this? Uh, because my actual Dremel, the 3200 or the 4000, you know, whatever the hell it's called, um, I, I loaned it to my father and the the threads where you put in the Dremel accessory, uh, it melted. So it's pretty fucking useless. I don't know what the hell he did. Very inconsiderate, inconsiderate of him. And I'll probably be getting the Milwaukee Dremel tool in the future. But for now, I'm doing the puppets, and I need a rotary tool, or I want a rotary tool. I don't really need it, but actually, you know, I do really need one uh, if I want to do the EVA phone. So. so I got this. I picked it up on sale at Harbor Freight for $40. Um, I do not feel ripped off. I am not angry with the purchase. Uh, again, this is this is everything you get. So you get the little, uh, you know, the little key chuck thing. You get this little baggie with, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what these things are. You get the screws. Uh, to hang this up, uh, I'm going to be hanging it up on my pegboard, and uh, yeah, it's got this little uh, this little hanger thingy right here. And then yeah, it's basically what it'll look like when it's hanging. And then of course, uh, it comes with this shaft here. It comes attached. Uh, when I was online, I was reading that this loosens up under normal use. So I got some uh, Permatex. Uh, thread locker. This is the blue. This is medium strength. So this is removable strength. Um, you know, as long as you go to the gym, you can remove these again. Uh, I'm not going to, again, I just put the, the blue Loctite on there, but just to, oh yeah, it's, it's getting a little tight. So it's, again, I need to leave it alone. I need to leave this alone. Um, and of course, what makes this, this, uh, rotary tool very unique or rotary tools like this very unique, as opposed to something like a traditional Dremel that everybody's familiar with, um, it's that it comes with a pedal. So this does not have an on and off switch at all. This does not have an on and off switch. So you basically plug it in, you, or you plug this guy, you plug in the actual unit into the pedal, and then you plug the pedal into a uh, power source, into a power outlet. And um, and then, you know, depending on how hard, you know, you, you depress the pedal, It'll determine the speed of the actual, you know, um, shaft here. So the harder you press, the faster it goes. The lighter you press, the more, you know, uh, if you're not heavy on it, it'll go a lot slower. The RPMs will not be as fast. Uh, but 50,000 RPMs is pretty damn high, um, especially for something like this. Uh, I paid $44 for this at Harbor Freight. Uh, I got quite a few Chicago electric tools. And they've lasted me. They're still around. They still work perfectly fine. Um, I don't like, especially like the the heavy duty, you know, the mammoth uh, sander, like that that big boy. Uh, it still works. Still works. Um, I know Harbor Freight. They don't always get, you know, the be they don't have the best reputation, you know, for obvious reasons. But uh, I've had a lot of good luck with them. Now I imagine a lot of guys who are doing like welding stuff, or you know, they're doing automotive stuff. Uh, you know, they might look at this and, you know, maybe it'll work for them. I don't know. Um, I'm not really impressed with the construction of the actual unit itself. This is plastic. Um, so you got to be really, really careful wherever you put this, you know, just, just be mindful that this case is plastic. This thing, uh, I don't have a lot of faith in it. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Uh, the, this enclosure for the unit itself, 
other than that, uh, the the shaft feels really great. This feels really really damn good. Uh, the the little hose here, the the you know the the flexible aspect of this feels pretty damn good. Um, you know the pedals okay. Uh, the majority of pedals, from my understanding, I think that the majority of them are also plastic. Um, I, I honestly don't really like the way that this is designed. I think the actual company Dremel, they have a very similar rotary tool like this, and it, you know it comes in with you know comes with its own flexi shaft, blah blah blah. And it is light years. You know, I like the way that they did their pedal. There's a couple other brands out there, you know, made in the U.S. And they did the pedal uh, pretty damn good. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Chicago Electric. This thing is hideous. Um, but I'm sure it'll work. You know, why wouldn't it? Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And I'm just going to demo it really quick for you guys. Uh, and, of course, I went ahead and I bought, you know, all these Dremel accessories. Uh, you know, these are just standard rotary accessories just because it says Dremel on here doesn't mean that you can't use it with the Milwaukee rotary tool or with the Chicago electric flexible shaft because, uh, you know, let me go ahead and demonstrate to you how this would work. Um, I'm primarily going to be using the grinding stone. So when I am, you know, uh, doing the edges of, let's say, let's, let's say, uh, when I'm doing the edges of, uh, of body armor for one of my puppets, it's, um, you know, the grinding stone up against the EVA foam is, uh, you know, oh shit, dropped it. It's quite necessary. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and slide it in there. Mm, just keep it, uh, you know, just uh, right there should be okay. You don't want it too close and you don't want it too far from the... From the actual tool itself. And you basically want to stop tightening it when it doesn't let you tighten it anymore. You don't want to overdo it because you'll break something. Okay. So this is ready to rock and roll. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm not really going to hang it up because, again, this is just demonstration purposes only. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate uh, hanging this up on the wall control pegboard in, in a minute. Oh, my God. Hold up. Uh, um, yeah, let me just put all this stuff away, you guys. I apologize. Again, we do real life here on this channel. I like saying that. I feel like it, it grants me integrity. God. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... All right, guys. This thing is being dropped to the floor right now as we speak. And I am hoping... <sighs> is this even going to... Yeah, this this goes quite a long ways. All right, so it's plugged in. It's plugged in. I got the foot pedal on the floor. Here, I'm just going to hold it so it doesn't bounce around. All right, so right now I'm lightly depressing it. I'm going to bring this up to you guys. All right, so I like the control that I have over the pedal. I'm very surprised. I'm very, very surprised that the pedal is as, is as responsive as it is because I wasn't anticipating that it would... <laughs> that responsive i would just think it's gonna be like it's either gonna be slow or it's gonna be really fast like one of the two there's no in between because it's chicago electric but this thing is uh surprisingly gives you quite a bit of control this is what happens when you don't hang it up if you want to understand why you need to hang this up to watch yeah this thing flies all over the place uh so this definitely needs to be hung and um you know and that that's basically it man I mean, that's just, uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, here, let me just go ahead and demonstrate this to you again. It's not that loud, but then again, I am wearing uh, headphones. But this doesn't hurt my ears. Some of these can get quite loud. The flexi shaft, uh, 
again, uh, uh, I'm just impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. Because, uh, uh, again, I'm, I'm just a hobbyist, man. I'm just a hobbyist. That's uh, 15,000 RPMs, apparently. Uh, the unit is, is surprisingly not that hot. The... Let me see. Uh, yeah, this isn't that hot. Um, yeah, so again, one of the things that I recommend you do when you buy this thing, obviously when you're going to use it properly, please hang it up because that is exactly how these things were designed. They were designed to be hung up. Uh, I will be utilizing this. I'm going to hang this up on the pegboard wall. I'm going to do a separate video showing how to hang because I have my monitors hung up on there. Um, but yeah, I removed this top portion right here where it's knurled. And it also removed this bottom portion right here. Um, and you can thread it back on. Nothing's going to fall off or anything. And what I did was I put a little bit of blue medium strength removable. Um, yeah, removable. Uh, what's it called? Uh, thread locker. Oh, it says removable with tools. But I put very little. So I can probably remove this with my um, with my hands just because of the way this is, this is designed. Um, if if you're worried about it, you can get um rem like like purple strength like like low strength thread locker. Um, another thing that you want to do is just make sure that this is properly lubricated. Um, you don't want to be using this without it being properly lubricated because uh, you're just going to prematurely wear out the tools. And people have reported that um, uh, you know their their flexi shaft was coming undone it was it was you know separating <laughs> where the threads are obviously um you know, let me put that away uh so that's not good uh i don't believe i'm gonna have that problem uh again i'm 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 quite pleased with this with this uh whole setup here this whole ordeal um again i'm a hobbyist and i'm going to be making puppets i'm not going to be in a dangerous you know workshop uh, you know, welding shit uh, in some, you know, automotive garage, uh, you know, fabricating. I'm not doing any of that. I'm, I'm, I'm messing with EVA foam. Um, so I don't need to go hard on the paint, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I, I fully endorse this tool. I think it's great. And uh, again, my, my gripes with it is that <laughs> um, this is plastic. The, the, the body of this is plastic. So uh, you just got to be mindful of that, man, because this thing, I imagine it'll break pretty damn easily if you're not careful but uh hey it works and uh, i'm impressed with the controls uh for 44 dollars and if you don't have a rotary tool dude, just save your money buy this and is, is, especially if you're doing like arts and crafts stuff like i am and you don't need you know the premium 200 dollars one the, you know the 400 dollars one i mean some of them go a lot higher than that uh and again if you were like a professional fabricator or like welding or whatever the case may be like, yeah yeah maybe this might not be the best idea um okay so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the demonstration and my thoughts on the chicago electric power tools this is currently on sale for 44 dollars this is making this video uh so enjoy peace out